Welcome to this video, which is about ThingWorks Analytics Manager. During this video, we'll go through how to share a predictive model from Analytics Builder into our Analytics Manager. And from here, we will test the model. Now let's share our predictive model, and we'll do that from Analytics Builder. Now, before this video, I did create this predictive model and it's this one which we are going to share. But let me just first verify that we are connected. Perfect. We are. All right. Now the procedure for sharing this predictive model with our analytics manager is very simple. It's just simply hit the publish button. Click yes. And now our predictive model from the builder is being shared with our analytics manager and it's in this interface right here. So what we can see at this first screen, we have some general information regarding our predictive model. Now in order for our analytics manager to receive this predictive model, you need to set up an analysis provider. And I already did that before. Um, and I used the connector of Think Predictor. Now let's view our predictive model in order for us to test it, because we want to know if it's working or not. And the first thing that we will do is provide input data values. So for a casual technique, I will use full range. You could choose to use distance from max or distance from min, but I'm providing the full range as my casual technique. And my goal name is print failure within seven days. And I would like to receive three important fields which are having a great influence on the goal. Now let's add this row. And I'll set it as parent row in order for us to fill out data. So these data right here are the ones that our predictive model will score. I'll just select add row and we can view the values that we just provided. And we'll click submit and wait for the predictive model to return our scores. Now let's look at our predictive scores. And we can see that we already have result values. Now let's just look at the important features which we want to retrieve. And this looks quite all right. And again, we have the values here for the most important features, which have a high influence on the goal. So this is perfect. If we are satisfied with this predictive model, and I am, because the test was successful, I will enable this model. Now this model is ready to be configured to analysis events. But for now, this completes this demonstration. Thank you so much for watching.